All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, I'm going to talk about a couple things regarding the Eagles. Um, Jalen Hurts talking about the new offense, as well as uh, Cam Jurgens and how he feels about replacing Jason Kelsey. And actually, we'll bring up something quick with Jason Kelsey. So apparently he lost his Super Bowl ring. Um, I... I'll have to go look into the story, but it was like a really wacky story because he like, I, I, again, I don't want to like say the wrong thing, but like he just, he ended up losing it in such a weird way. Um, I'll have to, I'll look it up towards the, uh, towards the end of the show, but let's get into, uh, Jalen Hurts first and then later on we'll, we'll go into that. But this is what Hurts had to say about, uh, about the offense. So. I think as a player, I definitely yearn from sustainability and the, and the consistency there. As a quarterback, I yearn for those things in a play caller and a quarterback coach because you know or you kind of see how consistency in those areas can breed excellence. I find myself in a, in a situation very similar to college in terms of having a constantly revolving door in terms of coordinators and coaches, but I've always managed to have success in it. So that's always been a good thing because you've been able to learn from people and apply it. I'm all, all right, so this is now uh, about the offense. I'm just all years. I'm a sponge. I think there's some beauty in that. I'm just in sponge mode. I'm letting them do what it is they're going to do, and then we kind of adjust from there. I think the thing that we all have to understand is the importance of a foundation in something. So I want the coaches to declare their foundation in terms of what they want something to be, how they want it to look, and then obviously you're going to adjust from there. So, yeah, I mean, has had some changes. Uh a lot through the course of, uh, you know, his career. Obviously, you go from, you know, Shane Steichen as the offensive coordinator, then, you know, last year, um, you know, you had the coordinators in, in, in uh, Desai and, and Brian Johnson, and that just did not work out for the team collectively. And, uh, you know, they brought in Matt Patricia for the defensive side, and that just didn't really help. But, yeah, it's just now you got Kellen Moore and Vic Fangio in there. So, yeah, there's been a lot of changes. For the Eagles and they're hoping that they can get that like he said the sustainability and consistency going into next year because again the Eagles got off to a 10 and 1 start they're like oh yeah this team you know is right now is the, the best team in the NFC and for weeks people were constantly saying oh they haven't been playing their best football yet and then they go up against the 49ers and the 49ers just wipe the floor with them and that was just then it was just a free fall after that and now people are calling for Nick Sirianni's job and you know, criticizing Jalen Hurts. So yeah, it's not not a great year, not not a great ending to the year. And yeah, he's another guy that's got to go out there and prove something too. I feel like I say that about a lot of people, but he's another one because again, the Eagles just went into a free fall. And yeah, they're going to have to prove some people wrong now. And they brought in Kellen Moore, who's been around for a while. He's been calling plays. He was with the Cowboys and then, you know, with the went with went to the Chargers. And now he's with the Eagles. So, you know, I mean, we'll see how that goes. And, you know, the Eagles, they bring in Saquon Barkley. They also brought in Devontae Parker as well to be that number 3 wide receiver. So, and you still got AJ Brown, you paid Devontae Smith. You got Dallas Goddard. I mean, the Eagles should be good next year. And and if they're not, then, well, Nick Sirianni's going to be out of a job. I, I think it's it's safe to say that. If Again, if the Eagles are bad. But if the Eagles are back to, you know, being how they were, you know, when they were 10-1 and 1 and, you know, in 2022, then they, they'll be fine. Then Nick Sirianni will be fine. But if you see more of what happened towards the end of the season in 2024... Yeah, then uh, that's a different story. But I, I mean, I, I think the Eagles should be good. You got way too much talent to not be. But you could say that about other teams as well that they got talent, but they just aren't able to put it together. But the, I, I, the Eagles, I think, will be fine. Uh, and I like what they did on defense as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a big year for them. You know, you want to prove that you know the end of twenty twenty three was a fluke. So, um, you know, I expect them to do well. You know, A.J. Brown got hurt, you know, last game of the season, and, you know, he misses the playoff game against the Bucks. 
I mean, I don't think even if he, I think even if he does play, I mean, I don't think he really helps them because I mean the Eagles defense just could not tackle unless you wanted to have him go out there and play defense. But yeah, I, I, they're looking to redeem themselves, and Hertz is trying to embrace this new offense. You know, talking about being a sponge and absorbing all this new information, and you know, trying to you know get things right for the season. Because they'll be playing the Packers now, which, again, that's a game I uh, I am excited for in week one. And, you know, we'll see how they do. And, again, I, I think they'll be fine. Because you got too much talent there where I just I, I don't see them being, uh, you know, that team that collapsed towards the end of 2023. But also I wanted to get into what, uh, what Cam Juergens had to say. So he's going to be the guy that is going to take over for Jason Kelsey. And I wanted to get into that as well. So this is what he said. It does feel a little weird. Kelsey's gone and they moved my locker over to his. Obviously, that's a little weird. And I ended ended up in the wrong locker a couple times. I'm like, oh, man, this isn't mine anymore. So it's getting used to things. And it's fun getting back here and into the groove of things. At the end of the day, just be myself. I'm not trying to be somebody's replacement or somebody's next person. I'm just trying to be myself. Can I be the best football player that I can be in whatever position they put me in? That's what I'm going to do. I'm not worried about anything else besides what I can control. I think that's all I got to worry about at the end of the day. When you start putting in those perspectives and those terms, people like to compare, and then it's just different things on your shoulders that you need to carry. Um... But yeah, I I mean, it's it definitely big shoes to fill. He also said, I think it's very valuable. I learned so much playing behind him my first year. Then this last year, I played guard beside him. And, you know, every single day, there's something to learn. It was just fun being in that room and being in that environment and learning something every day. Um, so, I, I mean, again, got big shoes to fill. And, you know, curious to see how the tush push is going to work now without Jason Kelsey. You know, is it, are the Eagles still going to have success there with him not there, with him now being retired? We'll see. But um, yeah, I mean that, that's really what you, how you got to look at it. You know, you can't just. I mean, yeah, he might feel some pressure having to you know replace Jason Kelsey because he's idolized there in Philly. But I, I mean, it's easier said than done. Like he said, you got you got to go out there and be yourself and and, and play the position and. And not, you know, kind of block out all the, you know, outside noise that could be coming your way. Because, again, you are replacing an icon there in Jason Kelsey. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, the Eagles offensive line is, is still solid. Um, losing Kelsey is definitely, you know, again, it's going to be hard to replace him. But we'll see if Jurgens can step in and be that guy at center. Because, again, you got a big responsibility now. You know, you're... you're the tush push how is that gonna how is that gonna be now with kelsey not being there anymore and um i know like kelsey had like that weird technique of how he snapped the ball too um i i i hope you guys know what i'm talking about but because I, I i i think i was watching like the pod like uh one of their podcasts uh for new heights and it's how like his, his delivery of the snap is is like he he like how he snaps it's like very low so, um, I think that's what he said from what I remember, but yeah, so that's going to be a little different. Um, but again, yeah, like I said, the tush push, how is that going to be in 2024? But actually I wanted to get into now quickly, um, what, uh, happened with Kelsey, Kelsey Super Bowl ring. So he ended up losing it and in a strange... Yeah, yeah. So that's what it was. So he lost his Super Bowl ring in a pool filled with chili. And so this was in the latest episode of New Heights. And, um... Yeah, so he lost it in a pool of chili. So it occurred at the recent uh, great uh, Lumbaby Games. A live show hosted by the brothers, which was a competition. I Again, I didn't really watch it. But yeah, so... He was searching for replica Super Bowl rings tied to socks, and I guess he ended up... Uh, one of those replicas was actually Kelsey's uh, Super Bowl ring that he won in 2018, and he lost it, 
and they weren't able to find it. And that is, uh, that's horrible that he ended up losing that. Now, again, I don't know why you end up doing that, but that's what he decided to do, and now his ring is gone. So, and they're not, they were not able to find it. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that because uh, I know that was something that was uh, trending, was uh, the fact that he lost a Super Bowl ring. And who knows where it is now. But yeah, very interesting, losing that in a, a giant bowl of, uh, or a giant container of chili. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have any words to say, any more words to say on that, but for the Eagles, yeah, it's uh, it, it, this this season's gonna be big for them. Again, trying to bounce back from the collapse. I mean, I know I've talked about it a bunch of times, but yeah, it just uh, the the season ended really badly. And look, they I, I still look at them as one of the top one like a top five team in the NFC. And it's going to come down to them and the Cowboys for the division. Because the Giants and the Commanders, they got their issues. And this team has a lot of talent. And if they end up not doing well, yeah, I don't know where you go from here. But I really, I, I really have a hard time believing that they're going to be that team that just collapsed towards the end of the year. I think they're going to bounce back. I think Jalen Hurts will have a good year, a good year. Because again, you, he's another one that was turning the ball over more too. And now in a new system, do we see the Jalen Hurts from 2022 and when they were 10 and one, or are we going to see more of the Jalen Hurts from when they were collapsing? We'll see. But again, I mean, you got two number one wide receivers, arguably. And you got a 1A and a 1B, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. You got a top 10 tight end in Dallas Goddard. Now you can bring in Saquon Barkley behind a solid offensive line. I mean, this team has to do good, right? You would think. And then defensively, you know, made some changes. I, I mean, I think they should be good. Now, again, as a Giant fan, do I want them to be good? Not necessarily. But, from a non-Giant fan perspective, this team should be good in 2024. And again, for Jalen Hurts, you're hoping that this is, you know, the last system you got to learn about for a while. And that, you know, Kellen Moore is that offensive coordinator for them moving forward. And then defensively, you hope that, you know, Fick Fangio gets this defense back on the right track and he sticks around. And you go from there. But um, we'll just have to see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Eagles. What are your expectations for them going into next year? Uh, Jalen Hurts, you see him bouncing back? I mean, I think so. I think Saquon Barkley will perform with the Eagles. I mean, I think he's going to do well. As long as he stays healthy. That's really been his problem is, you know, staying healthy. So, but... Yeah, I mean, that, that that's pretty much it for the show for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, as I always say, make sure to check out the other shows on the GSMC Sports Network. Um, got a bunch of shows, got new shows starting up soon. So make sure to tune into all those, you know, because obviously there's other stuff going on around the sports world, whether it's the NBA playoffs, you got baseball going on, things like that. Make sure to tune into all that. Uh, give the other shows some love as well, like I've been saying, and, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, again, another week in the books, I mean, these weeks, I mean, how many times do I say it, they, they just go really fast, and they're not going to slow down, so, and next week is the draft, so that's going to be, that's going to be big, that's going to be big, because we'll, we'll cover it, talk about what teams did what, you know, it starts next Thursday, so, you know, we'll talk about, I mean, Friday will be big because, you know, you still have, uh, so the first round's Thursday, and then, of course, you have, uh, it's rounds two through three Friday, and then you have four through seven Saturday. So, obviously, Friday, we're going to recap, you know, most of what happened in the first round, 
and then uh you know go from there but yeah next week's big next week's big it's a draft so all these uh all the speculation and rumors and what teams are going to do we're, we're going to find out what teams do next week and our answers will some of our questions will be answered so yeah but that's it that's it for me that is all the time that we have for today once again thank you guys for tuning in we'll be back again monday same time 10 30 a.m eastern time and until then i'm your host kenneth grunfelder signing off from the gsmc football podcast brought to you by the gsmc sports network have a good day have a good weekend and i will talk to you guys on monday take care